sometimes people evolve and they want to like branch out into another niche, but what is your take on that? Yeah. So I love this question. And I get this a lot of like, Julie, I want to pivot or like, I want to switch gears, but I'm afraid to because- like expand, right? Yeah. I want to expand. I want to evolve. But this thing now that I'm doing, it it is making me money and it's what I have been known for. And so I'm afraid, like, how do I actually pivot and not lose money and, you know, not lose followers and not all these things. And so- the best advice that I give to people is like, you can still do that stuff that you're doing now. Just don't talk about it. <laughs> and I'll give you an example. So my, one of my, like my niche is brand strategy. There's a couple of different ways that I can offer that to somebody. They can, you know, listen to my free podcast. They can take one of my free trainings that I have. They can join one of my paid programs and courses or group coaching programs. One of the things that I don't offer that's not in my niche, I don't specialize in it, is one-to-one coaching. And it's because it doesn't light me up, it's not scalable, and it's just not something that I necessarily want to market and promote. However, there have been times along my journey when someone has come to me and they're like, Julie, do you offer one-on-one coaching? And if I think about it in that moment and I'm like, well, what is this opportunity presenting to me? Can I really support this person on a one-to-one level? Is this something that I want to do? And if it is, I might say yes, but I'm not publicly marketing and positioning myself as a one-on-one coach. So that's what I tell people that if you want to start to pivot, you want to start to forward facing, you want to start marketing and messaging and talking about where it is that you're going, who you're wanting to serve, and that new niche that you're stepping into. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to say no in the interim for opportunities that may come your way for kind of more of that past version of yourself that you were, that you're trying to leave. But you want to focus more of the marketing and messaging on where you're going. Mm -hmm. So you can still say yes to those opportunities in the interim if they're making you money. You just don't want to talk about it as a marketing piece. Does that make sense? Right. Like you want to market yourself based on your future vision of who you want to be, right? Exactly. And where you're going and that niche that you're wanting to step into. And so I love to use that example of one-on-one coaching. It's not that I don't do it or haven't done it. I just don't talk about doing it, you know, because it's not, it's not what I want to be known for. It's not where you're trying to go. Exactly. 